Coogan Cassius Eiffel TV. You've got to be careful. Why? Because well, he's coming around. He's, 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 he's in a bad I've been, bit, I've been having a bit of banter with Bellion. I think he's ready to whack me. Calm down. <laughs> what do you mean you're saying a real interview? What do you mean that? Because it's not real, is it? No, it's not real, no? no. What, are you saying that he's not a real media outlet? He is a media outlet, yeah. But, it's not a very good but, one. But now he's, he's saying to me, he's interviewing me, and he's talking about MGM Marbella before he interviews me. I know. I've got I to know. do that. Sponsor. Yeah, have you have got sponsors? Have I got sponsors? So you've got a few, haven't you? Who said that? They plastered all over your, uh, all your shorts. No, or? It, does it look like it or not? Oh, no, I said all your shorts, fight night. Yeah, he's got a few. Okay. Come again. Okay. So, so I'm, I've got sponsors. Well, plastic all over yeah. Where did they plastic? Yeah, they play for your Nando's, or you get that for free as well, actually, didn't you? So. Forget Nando's free. Is he still paying you five hundred pound a week? No, nope, not anymore. He stopped. Oh, it. So I did. Because you always said that I oh, never. Grand, well, you but that's so, so almost you, an admission there. Exactly. So you so did you pay me five hundred pound? Yeah, week? we know that, I and mean, that's all out there. But oh. you've just said I don't oh, pay I you that anymore. You prove it. I'll do your show for free. Well, you'll probably do my show for free anyway. Well, I won't be doing your show for free. Oh, really? right now. Uh, what, uh, what I've got, to, what I want to know is, 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 are you the Premier Inn Ripper? No, Holiday Inn. Is it the Holiday Inn Ripper? Yeah. No, no, no it's not. It's the Premier Inn. It's, it, this is Brian King's quotes, by Who the way. Who invented so this? Brian oh, King. I met your mate, Brian King. Now, he, he tells me, and I speak to him now. He DMs me. That's not speaking to someone. I'm not speaking to him. I didn't even know he existed, but I do know he exists now, so we're well, speaking to someone. Me. Yeah, yeah we met him. You've seen the video, haven't you? Yeah, he looked yeah. well. He did look well. Yeah. Once again, I texted you the night before and told me to send me the digits of where he was going to meet him. Once he didn't get back to me. Oh, well, I've got Not as important fighter than... no more. He's got anything, probably. Yeah. He's been me off. He's, this, this is what it's like, Coop. He's been you know two timing me. It's so funny. We're standing there today, and I've got Tony there, Nathan there. And he's, this is a problem when you've got fighters in camp. Obviously, we're going to make the fight. Listen, made the best man win. Cleverly bell you, he's standing there, he's going, Tip. so I've gone like that, because they told us to go sideways on. And he's gone, oh, you're turning your back on me again. For him, for him. It's like having, it's like having a fucking, it's like being with two birds. Do you know what it I mean? It is wrong, because you were here first. And, and he also, he also he's, he's been very, very open in saying that I was, at the time when he signed me, the best light heavyweight in Britain. Does he still feel that way? Who's the no, best? because you're a cruiserweight. So who's the best cruiserweight you got? Who's the best, who's the best cruiserweight you got? We'll find out on November 29th. <laughs> oh, he's, no, we didn't, we didn't he's good. <laughs> he's good, isn't he? Well, he's what, I good. mean, I think it's an unanswered question, isn't it? I mean, Tony looked very impressive as cruiserweight. Um, Nathan had half a gimme against Sean Corby. He's got a tougher fight half on a Saturday. Half a gimme. Half a gimme. Come on. There's gimmies well, and you there's gimmies. You, you could have had an easier fight, but you just decided to make it exciting against Andrew. Should we well, say about Nathan? Who who's knows? your favourite? Who's my favourite? Yeah. Favourite what? Fighter? Cruiserweight. Who's your favourite favorite cruiserweight? I've, I've got a big soft spot for Nathan Cleverly, you know that, don't you? I actually like Nathan. I said to him, I said, you know he's a lovely fella. Fucking hate him. Fucking hate him. But, you know. Offended. Absolutely offended. I thought he, I thought he was going to try and cut it down the line. Say, ask well, him who's favourite. Well just, just ask get him who's favourite super middleweight is. Who's your favourite super middleweight? Carl Froch. Off the rolls off his tongue. Set rolls off his tongue. Who's your favourite cruiserweight? Nathan Cleverly. See what I mean? Not even Waddy no more. Oh, I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong what you're doing. Do you know what? All I'm trying to do, all I'm trying to do is make the top fights. And you know the only way I could make this fight happen is... You see what he's doing to me? You know, but it just so happens <laughs> since I've signed Nathan, we have got a very close relationship. So, you there know. You go. And, and now you're you're with, you know, your new man. This what he likes is... new advisor. What he like? <laughs> <laughs> What he likes is, he likes the fact Nathan can count his money. That's what it is. And there's a lot to count. There's a lot to count. He's still counting the stacks from Wembley. He's still counting them. Who, me? Oh, me. Oh, you're talking about counting my money? Oh, right, okay. That's why he must like him. Because he can't do nothing else. Nathan is a very nice man. You're a very nice man. He's a very good fighter. You're a very good fighter. And do you know what? I cannot wait. Oh, it's touch and go, isn't it? I mean, no, let's be serious I've, now. I've, listen, let's be serious I, you now. have to say Tane because I've been with Tony a long time. Do you know what I mean? The truth is starting to come out. Because if I, it didn't come out right and I'd have left this building and he never said that, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of trouble. Ask me if that camera goes later. down. And just, you know. Listen, Waddy's his favourite. I know deep down Waddy's his favourite. I know he is because him and Waddy, you know, South End brothers from the South. It takes time. I like the way he says It takes time to... Like it been with Tony a long time and experienced a lot, but I've got to say, obviously, he has got a dislike for Mr. Beverly. I haven't. I think he's a nice player. I think he's actually working really hard. And you know what I can do on a serious note is make the fight and sit there and make the best man win. And what do you know, do you know, who deserves to win is the one who wins. No, that's not right. The one who wins is the one that deserves to win. <laughs> it's 
been now, a long, been a long Eddie's season. been on the uh, the shishi thing he always sat <laughs> below just before the, the, he had this conversation I don't know where it's going or the, the man who wins deserves to win <laughs> I've heard it all now the one that wins is the man that deserves to win Where's that shishi go? Start give him the shishi back. I've got a What do they right? do in Liverpool? Those balloons, isn't it? Is that that's what you do? I'm not doing no balloons, mate. I don't know what you've been doing in no, Liverpool. There's no balloons around my house. They do it. They're doing that playground. Don't know what you're talking about. That nitrous oxide. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what are you talking about? What's a balloon? What, what are you were going on about these? What are they called? Hippie crack. You've been blown up. Kind of when did I? When did I say this, Ed? <laughs> Yesterday. Really? But you cut out your video from yesterday. Did I? Why did yeah. I cut out the video, Ed? Because you was just talking shit. Yeah. Just like, you talk about why I cut, cut it why out, really, Ed? Yeah. Go on. Why'd you cut the video, Ed? <laughs> why did you cut the video? Who's he been talking about now? No. Was he giving me stick? Was no, he? no. He won't talk about you. No. He was just, he was just talking. Oh, about I was talking else. about um, other people in the industry. Who's that? We'll talk about it later. Okay. Other people in the industry. I can just imagine who that was. I have thoughts about him most nights. Eddie Hearn. Yeah. Just, when a, really just a quick, show. quick word on this, on this great okay. card you got. This you've been slagged off by everyone since the shit show. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what I've got to do. I mean, I'm sitting on the top table, going through all the fights, looking at Andrade's team, Biosse, Noe Gonzalez, and I'm thinking this is a great card. I mean, you've got former world champions, you've got world title challengers, you've got Olympic gold medalists, you've got some of the top prospects in world and boxing, scousers. and a couple of scousers as well. This is a great card. Fight of the night for me, I think it could be Rocky Fielding against Noe Gonzalez. I think that is such a tough fight. I mean, really, you look at the odds for that fight, and what is Gonzalez, like six or seven to one? I mean, kind of like, it's not a 50-50, because I, I, I think Rocky's the favourite in the fight, but it's well out of the levels he's been before. His best win's Luke Blackledge. You know, Biossi's over with Demetrius Andrade. Yeah, and that team, he's got, you know, but of course, Callum, he's looking unbelievable, but Callum's 11-0. Do you know what I mean? He's in with a big puncher who's coming here to win. Cleverly's in with a big puncher. He even said to me today, that Valori can bang a bit, you know, because it's like that. Watching him and Cleverly is like that. We get it Saturday out of the way, and then we get it made. The fight everyone wants to see, the biggest money fight for both fighters. And I attack him. The minute the fight's over, I jump and I attack him immediately. Before the referees even announce the fight's over, I just jump and attack him. With the gloves on still. Yeah, but you're fighting after him? No, I'm not. On Saturday. Don't wind me up. Doesn't happen anyway. How does that work? It's You're his hometown. After him. You're on last. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, so once I've won, I'm going to jump out the ring. He's going to be sitting there watching and I'm going to attack him. No. Of course he's going to be sat no, next to his new best mate. No, but we might have gone for something to eat. He's going to be sat next to his I'm new best mate. I'm not sure. I'm gonna I wasn't going to watch your one. I was going to go and... Have you seen the in-between? He's like, friend. Have you just started yeah, watching it? The way he's saying it is like... Yeah, box of friends. No, but I, I just, to be honest with you, once Nathan's, once <laughs> Nathan's done, I thought we were just going to go and get a bite to eat. And then... Have you let one go again? No, it's not me. Mate, yeah. you keep accusing everyone. I'd be proud of that. I, if you keep honest. saying that, I'd be proud of that. I think it's, it's either you or him, but I, I can't me. blame you because you're no chance you're on the protein. <laughs> I tell you what, he's there is the a chance no he might be in better nick than you. No carb for my good shape. Don't, don't give it. Is he in good shape? I'm in good shape. Is this uh, the best yeah. shape you've ever been in? Is this the I wouldn't best say shape that, you've no, ever no, no, it's not. It's no. not the best shape I've ever been in. What I'd say is... I'm fit. Uh, I'm fit, I'm you fat, and I punch good. like a twat. Is he? Huh? Great. Talking to you... friends. Friends. Oh, Coldwell friend. Oh, new trainer he's friend. Not friend. Oh. He's not a friend. You two, it's like he no. is, he is corner, a, friend. corner friend. You know, it's like <laughs> oh, yeah, pun punching session friend. He loves that one. Punching it? sessions are hard. <laughs> he by gets the way. you up. Look, he can't. Take. Yeah, but I don't. I don't do his fitness. So he's got a strength and conditioner. So it's not gonna oh. be that. It's punching. Oh, everything punching wise. We do. <laughs> you, you're at my way. You're coming out of Sardinia next week. I'm gonna get you on the post. I'm up for that, Ooh. mate. Don't worry about that. He can bang. Ooh. Yeah, but I'm a bit disappointed. I've had to lump up by a lot of dope. Hat friend. <laughs> 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 what I want to do is I want to go on holiday. <laughs> but, you know, I, I've spent the last year just knocking my cods out, boxing, boxing, boxing. I want to go to Sardinia for the week and go on the pads with Dave Colwell. Do you know what? Do you know what the biggest thing is here, guys? I, I, I was like the close member of Team Matching. I wasn't invited to the barbecue yesterday. Oh yeah, why wasn't he oh, at the barbecue? Fine. On Saturday. I wasn't invited. No, 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 let's just carry on with this. He I wasn't texted invited. me right with the amp last night. And then so I said to him, why wasn't I informed of this new uh, fight? Hub thing you've got kind of going. Why wasn't I? Fight pass. Fight pass. So I've got me trainer not telling me nothing. I've got me promoter not telling me nothing. Well, I expected you to know. I give yeah. What's going on? I told you. I've got a new right. friend. I tell you what. I've so, got my own show on it. You can be my first guest, and he'll pay you. 
start? Well, we, we was after starting it with a bang, to be honest with you. So we'll get some high profile guests first. And then... No, I want him as my first yeah. one. We've got, we've got, we've got, that's a deal. Yeah. He just said, I've got, I've got an appearance fee on there. You've got an appearance fee on it. You, he'll probably give you my, my fee for doing it. What's the fee, what fee you get? 500 quid's a good, good deal yeah. for that. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. Thank you very much for talking to us. Dave Caldwell, Tony Bellew, Eddie Hearn, Hilton Hotel. We're out. <laughs>